The story about Melvin. So Melvin was really known at Roblox community around 2006 to 2008. But later that year Melvin would pass away. For his honor Roblox would make Melvin a ghost shaggy. But the item later got removed. It is said that once every year one Robloxian will be teleported to Melvin's game. There they will have to walk through a long scary hallway and at the end of the hallway there will be a ghost shaggy floating. And when you try to leave your account will be terminated. The story about for and and why. So for and and why stands for Annie. Annie was a 10 year old girl. But Annie had an abusive mother. It is said that Annie asked really creepy questions like, Have you tried Red Dog? Where do you live? Do you like rusty nails? And other creepy stuff. Because when Annie broke a plate, her mother forced Annie to eat her own dog alive. A couple of days later someone joined Annie's game. And they noticed a red stripe on her face. She was completely quiet until she said it's hot in here, and left after that. Then the sky turned dark and the house set on fire. It is said that Annie set her house on fire after her and her mother get into a heated argument. She had no other choice and set her house on fire killing both her and her mother. It is said that Annie's soul is still on Roblox haunting other players. So stay safe out there. The story about Guest 666. So Guest 666 was Roblox players back in 2017. It is said that Guest 666 had admin in every Roblox game. He also hacked people who hated guests. It is said that guest 666 was bullied in school. One day his bullies pushed him of the school roof, and he was found DD 10 minutes later. He later came back to Roblox and hacked people who bullied guests. So don't bully people otherwise guest 666 might hack you. Stay safe. Sparkies. So Sparkies was a 13 year old girl who liked to play Bloxburg. One time Sparkies was role-playing in Bloxburg, and a car ran her over. She did not think much of it. About two hours later Sparkies went outside to buy groceries. But what happened to Sparkies next was truly horrifying. When she crossed the road, she got ran over by the same car that ran her over in Bloxburg. Comparison Some say that the one who ran her over on Bloxburg was the one who ran her over in real life. That's pretty creepy. So stay safe out there. Little Devil's Daycare. So there was a game on Roblox called Little Angel's Daycare. It was a daycare role-playing game. But Little Angel's Daycare later got hacked and it was renamed to Little Devil's Daycare. In Little Devil's Daycare the daycare was set on fire. And there were dead bodies outside of the daycare. And if you stayed in game for over one minute, Jeff the killer would jump scare you. This is how it looked like. It is said that this is based on a true story when a teacher lit her daycare on fire. She hated the children so much that she abused them by her boss's back. When her boss found out he fired her, and she got so mad so she lit the daycare on fire. Sadly none of the children made it out alive. That's horrifying. So stay safe out there. Jenna. So Jenna was a Roblox online day tier back in 2017. But Jenna wasn't any ordinary online day tier. Because you see, Jenna would online date boys and if they broke up with Jenna. Jenna would hack them, and she would find where they live, in real life. She would force them to date with her in real life, and if they broke up with her again, she would kill them. If you see Jenna in game, my best tip is to run away as fast as possible. Stay safe out there. Rusto10 So in 2018 there was a Roblox player called Rusto10. He was a Roblox stalker. He was most known for stalking the YouTuber Flamingo. Here is a video of Rust010 meeting Flamingo. God, I hear him walking. Is Rust about to come? Oh my god, that's Rust. Oh, 
potion. I, I don't want to go in. But it is said that after a while of Russ stalking Flamingo, he started stalking Flamingo on his alt account. The account was called Jimmy Biz Cut 74. When people discovered this account, it became inactive. But some say that Rust creates new alt accounts every day to stalk Flamingo. Some say that Rust even tried to kill Flamingo in a video. Here is the video. Not this. Oh, someone pulled up right next to me. Let me just. Hi. Somebody just pulled up next to me. I'm driving away now. I'm driving. They just literally pulled up right next to me in the middle of an. M They're following me now. Genu this is not scripted. They're following me. God. Okay, guys. Literally, these people pulled up next to me in an empty parking lot and just started. I know you can't see me right now. I'm sorry. And, but they just started like trailing me and like, waving at me. It was really weird. What we haven't heard a lot more from Russ since. But his alt accounts might be stalking Flamingo to this day. I guess we will never know. Stay safe out there. A Lone Traveler So in 2018, a Lone Traveler was a Roblox myth. He was most known for being in a couple of Flamingo's videos. But later a Lone Traveler would create a game called The Plains. When you join this game it would be a little creepy but normal overall. But if you walk through the gate, a fire would start chasing you, trying to you. And if it did, you would hear creepy laughter, and then you would respawn. A lone traveler would continue releasing crappy games like, The Districts, Ha 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 ha, and, Sad Face. He continued creating crappy games until he went completely silent. We don't know what happened to a lone traveler since, and we don't know if he will ever come back. Stay safe out there. You bully? So in 2014 there was a girl called Coco. She was a completely normal Roblox player. Until a girl named Yubuli would start messaging her stuff like, Don't laugh at me. Why did you leave me? The bullies got me. And other creepy stuff. Coco messaged Yubuli back but did not get a response. After this, Coco tried joining Yubuli's game. Coco found nothing out of the ordinary. She tried searching a bit more but she didn't find anything so she left the game. But when she left, her avatar had gone completely black. She checked up on Yubuli and she noticed that Yubuli's avatar had changed and it now looked completely like Coco's avatar. And Yubuli had sent Coco a message that read out like this. Thank you for saving me. Coco got creeped out and distanced her from Yubuli. But around three days after the incident, Coco would go completely silent. It's unclear what happened to Coco but some say that Yubuli stole Coco's soul, and that's why she changed her avatar to look like Coco's avatar. But some people say that Coco just went inactive after the incident. Yubuli is still on Roblox, and some think that she's still out there, stealing people's innocent souls. I guess we will never know. Stay safe out there. Happy. So Happy was a creepy game on Roblox. When you joined the game there would be a bunch of creepy faces on the walls. And there would be scary and sometimes disturbing sounds playing. And sometimes people say that they would see demons in the game. At first people thought that this game was made by a troll. But people later discovered that this game was made by a Roblox developer who had lost his job. After he had lost his job, he was so stressed out at the time so he could not sleep. And he tried to go to sleep again and again and again but he could not do it. It is said that after 5 days of no sleep he started seeing demons. He got scared of the demons and he tried to hide. But they would follow him wherever he'd go. This made him so scared that he locked himself in the basement. And there he started going insane. It is said that some people went to check up on him. They rang the door to his house but no one answered. But the door was unlocked. So they stepped inside. And everything inside was trashed. They started searching for him but they could not find him anywhere. Until they heard a scream from the basement. When they went to go check in the basement they were horrified of what they saw. Because when they were on the way down to the basement they saw a human like monster. And it started chasing them but luckily they got away. It is said that this was most likely the same guy who locked himself in the basement. And he remains in the basement today. Now this story might not be 100% real. I guess we will never know. Stay safe out there. The Red Head 
So the red head is a story of a player who encountered a red head in every game they joined. So back in 2017 a user was playing work at a pizza place on Roblox. They were just about to deliver a pizza when they saw a red head under a tree. They did not think much of it. They just thought it was an Easter egg by the administrators. But when he got to the house that wanted the pizza, a scary red-headed figure opened the door, and it slowly turned from happy to angry. And it then jump-scared the player, and the player then got disconnected. He tried rejoining the game, but the same thing happened, over and over again, until he decided to update Roblox, but it did not work, it just made it worse. Now the head was appearing in other games, and the head would find a spot where nobody would see him, to jump scare him and kick him. The player finally had enough and decided to update Roblox again. But when they got back on Roblox, it placed them into a game by the name of the Red Corridor. And at the end of the corridor there was a red head. And the head said, I'm watching you. After this, the player was kicked and could play Roblox normally again. But the player was already done with Roblox. The player doesn't play a lot of Roblox anymore. But it is said that once when the guy was on a walk outside, he saw the same red head he saw on Roblox. But when they got closer to the head, it just disappeared. Some say that the red head still stalks the player today. I guess we will never know. Stay safe out there. Can't scale 999. So Can't Scale 999 also known as the Cursed Account, is an account on Roblox, but this account has a terrifying backstory. So in 2018, a dad bought a computer for his daughter to play Roblox on. The dad bought the computer from a mom whose son had died. When he was home alone he died in a house fire, and the son was the original owner of the computer. When the dad bought the computer, he got to hear the horrifying story by the mom who sold the computer. The mom also said that some of her son's things might still be on the computer. But the dad said that that's fine. The dad brought the computer to his daughter and she was about to sign into Roblox when she saw that she was already logged into an account. The account she was logged into was an account by the name of Cantskeel999. She told her dad that she was logged onto this account and he said that this was most likely an account created by the past owner of this computer. The daughter believed him and did not think anything of it. She decided to log into her main account when she searched Can't Scale 999 on Roblox and found the account. She decided to check it out. The account had an all black avatar with nothing else to it. But when she checked the games made by Can't Scale 999 there was a game called Help. She was a little scared to join at first but after a while she did it and she was horrified of what she saw. When she joined, there was a house on fire and there were loud voices screaming for help. The girl got super scared and immediately tried to leave. But when she tried to leave, the leave button did not work. So she shut down her computer. When she went to bed that night, she heard whispers saying, help, she locked me in, it's hot in here, and more. And she swore that she saw a young boy running around her room that night. And she also heard screams and other noises that night. She could not sleep anything that night, and when she woke up, her and her dad saw on the news that a mom had been arrested for setting her own house on fire and her son. At that point, they both knew. They threw out the computer never to use it again. After this, Can't Scale 999 vanished from Roblox. But it is said that Can't Scale 999 is still out there haunting other players. That's super creepy. Stay safe out there.